Hello Floss Tube, my name is Jani and welcome to a new episode of a new Floss Tube. <laughs> this is um, Floss Tube number 24 <laughs> and this time I'm behind the cameras because I was planning to 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 record a video of like an update but I still have my eyes my eyes uh, a little red so <laughs> I don't want to scare you <laughs> um, yeah so I decide to to be uh, stay behind the cameras uh, so yeah I want to to make a video to uh, reporting the the stitching progress and news of the week um, as you know or, or many of you know um, today is Sunday February 18 so officially today start my birthday week celebration so I start with the celebration early because <laughs> I wasn't sure uh, this week I'm going to have enough time to start a lot of projects so I I have uh, this uh, weekend um, many hours to stitch so I decide to take advance and start early my my week celebration so yeah I want to share with you um, uh, some projects that I start um, whips and a finish I start uh, one of the new projects I started and finished it. So it's not uh, fully finished, but you can, I can, I want to share with you. Um, so, and also I, I have a, a haul. I made some shopping, some stitching shopping. So yeah, all part of the celebration. <laughs> okay, first of all, I want to share, um, two of the new starts of the week. I'm planning to start um, something more, but uh, so far I start um, the birds and the, and the bees. By in circles and this is my start um, I'm using um, I originally uh, thought that this was an, an linen 36 um, let me put it here um, and Originally, I think that uh, this this linen was 36, but after the the dyeing process, is almost 38. So it's really tiny. <laughs> I'm stitching um, with uh, DMC from the variation line. The color is one four one three O, and it's a really pretty. Uh, like brick orange burnt orange and I was planning to perhaps mix him with with another color you know with solid colors or something like that but you know with this one but I don't know I guess um, I still haven't decided I mean they look really really pretty no don't you think but I don't know I perhaps some of the motifs I will uh, put some solids color solid colors but um, meanwhile I'm just uh, using this DMC and really enjoyed it I'm stitching win with one one thread over two of the fabric and uh, as I told you it's really really tiny because I was you know measuring the fabric and uh, start here because uh, supposedly it has to finish like around here 
but like it's really <laughs> tiny because of the shrinking of the fabric it's a smaller but I think it's looking really really cute and 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 delicate I really enjoy this and the fabric is one that I dyed originally this one was um, a beige one of white and I was planning to just um, making you know a little antique and like coffee dye only but I have to add more colors so I ended with this piece and I really really like it so yeah that that is my my first start of the week and my second start is um, uh, Aphrodite by by Mirabilia uh, this one I'm also using um, a hand tie fabric uh, that I did this one is um, Lugana 28 and I'm I'm kind of doing a stitch with me with the whole uh, project from start to finish hopefully <laughs> in my um, Spanish uh, videos so a lot of the Spanish lady um, asked me to do you know kind of uh, tutorial or you know to give tips and basics um, details on, on how to start a Mirabilia how to choose from the project, the fabric, the materials, how to start. Um, after this, I'm going to, um, you know, stitch the skin and the face, how to um, make the uh, back, uh, back light, um, back stitch, I'm sorry. <laughs> how to make this, the back stitch of the skin and the face, because sometimes with Mirabilia, it's a little tricky and how to attach the beads and, and everything so i think well i can <laughs> you know uh, start a new project and also um, make this kind of um, tutorial not not exactly a tutorial but like stitch with me um, let's stitch a project together so yeah i start um, aphrodite and i will be using the original uh, dmc and really really happy um the good thing with some of mirabilias is that um once you stitch um like the backline color or uh, a main color it's easy to continue with the the rest of the shades so yeah i'm i'm hoping to to keep uh working on on this project and being able to to let uh, the progress in my my Spanish videos, uh, you can you know watch the Spanish videos also, um, um, you know to share and perhaps to learn <laughs> something. It's it's, it's it's very interesting. To start the the project uh, and you know share the experience. So hopefully, I guess I will finish this. In a, five or six months because I have to stitch part and and then um, upload upload the video but yeah it will be interesting to to make all the the project uh, with with uh, with you so yeah this was my second my second start of the of the week and I'm also working I continue working with my um, Lady of Mystery. Um, I keep uh, doing the. I, I finish all the roses of the dress, and I'm starting to filling all these um, pieces of the of the fuchsia, the the lighter lighted um, shade of of uh, pink. So yeah, after this, I have to to work in the in the arch which is also f full of uh, this uh, rose rose silhouette 
but really happy with with this project i really really love this and i want to you know i i always try to finish and start something new and finish and start something new but with this one i'm i'm trying to slow a little because i want to enjoy you know the process and not hurry with with her so I, I at the beginning of the year I was trying so hard to finish her and then I, I said well what is the rush <laughs> um, so I will continue working in this in this beauty also this week I got some new patterns and some flosses so I I went to Etsy because I really want to to get some um, some PDF uh, charts because I'm still uh, you know waiting for my my package and and everything so I decide to to get you know an uh, instant gratification <laughs> so I got some really really. Um, beautiful patterns um, you know that I'm feeling very much in the mood for Quakers and samplers and stuff like that I'm going to to start uh, one of my new starts is going to be a sampler I'm uh, you know still uh, choosing the colors and everything but yeah um, I uh, first of all I got this one this is flower cake uh, Quaker is by cross stitch verbena um, i will put the the link in the information box and it it's is uh, these patterns are not uh, they are really cheap so and they are really really pretty and, um, i hope you can uh, see um, they are very very nice and I picked this one because of the Quaker, you know, style, and this one from Stone Stone Street Stitch Work uh, is called the Librarian's House, and it's really, you know, a sampler type of of design, and also it's really, really beautiful. I saw it and I really like it and. I really want to start it. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, and also from from Verbena, I got this one. Um, this I found it so cute, and you know, <laughs> I'm not a very um, Halloween uh, oriented <laughs> stitcher, but this one is really really cute. Um, it's called Black Witch, and you know I I'm sure uh, uh, for all the, uh, you Halloween um, stitchers or who like the this kind of design, the black is the um, you know um, natural option. But I wasn't sure about what <laughs> to use with with this design, so I changed it a little and. Well, last I got this um, this design. This is from Elise Nielsen. It's called the Stack, the Dough and the Autumn, and it's really really cute. Um, I will insert a picture. Really really simple and really really. Um, beautiful I mean because of, of that uh, simplicity I really like it and so yeah I was you know in the in the quest for for um, Quaker and samplers designs so I, I got some some of, of those uh, at Etsy um, and really um, the PDF uh, patterns are a great options um, I haven't received yet my my autumn Quaker by uh, Rosewood Manor 
and you know that was originally one of the starts that I want to 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 get this week but no oh, it's still flying <laughs> it's way to to Mexico so yeah uh, all of these uh, uh, designs I really love them too but Ocean Quaker was oh, <laughs> my birthday start so yeah probably I will stitch um, I will start this one I really like it and and I don't know if you could check in the Stitch Mania uh, Facebook uh, group uh, I can remember her name I guess was Marina I, I will put her name she stitch uh, the the Quaker the autumn Quaker but by Rosewood Manor and she finished uh, some uh, box for her flosses and it's beautiful um, she did the box uh, and she stitched the the the, the lid uh, with the autumn Quaker and it's amazing uh, so so pretty and you know when I saw the picture I immediately recognized the the autumn Quaker but her finish is it's, it's amazing I mean the design is really really beautiful but the way she finished her uh, it's really something else um, so I will try to insert a picture of, of her finish here And talking also about uh, flaws and, and a little hole, <laughs> yesterday I was um, stitching my finish <laughs> that I will show you uh, right now, but I, I was um, afraid that this color, uh, I, it, it, I will need it to get it but it was yesterday, uh, Saturday, and it was like 7 p.m. So I have to rush to the downtown uh, here in my city to my local needle store because they have all the DMC. And I was, you know, running like a mad lady and, you know, <laughs> all across the, the, the streets because you know how it goes when you need a, a, a floss, you have to have it. So I get a, a new one. I, still, I got a little left, but I have the new one. And luckily, I I was you know running like crazy, and and they have the new DMC colors. Ah! So yeah, it was like a sign. I have to <laughs> have them. So I got the 35 new DMC colors. Uh, they don't have, you know, the fancy um, metal box. Um, I have these from some perfumes that my sister <laughs> gave me. And I probably will um, finish uh, the, the box with a stitching uh, lid. I will put something, you know, nice in the cover. But yeah, I was really happy because I have, you know, new patterns and new flosses and eh. <laughs> it was, this was almost an accident, but it was meant to be. So <laughs> I'm really happy. So yeah, I will. And when I finish the box, I will show you how I finish. Perhaps one of the samplers that I got, I stitched some, some motif for this, for this box. And, um, you know, the, the plastic um, bobbins fit uh, perfectly here I don't know if you can tell but perfectly here in the in the box so yeah I'm really happy and and for my finish of the week well of the weekend because <laughs> I start this um, 
this design I started yesterday this was one of the of the new um, charts that I got this one and I decide to you know to use not black but uh, a lot of colors so um, I choose a very uh, jewel, jewel tones or so I was you know just picking some some random colors and decide because of this fabric when when I saw this design I immediately think in this fabric this is uh, one I that, that I dyed and I really like this color it's like um, gingerbread <laughs> um, you know very very Halloween very autumn uh, uh, mood so I was thinking yeah I, I won't stitch hair in black I, I mean stitch it in black she must look um, really pretty but I was thinking you know perhaps I could could use some black and some colors here and then and then I say no you know what <laughs> I will only use um, different colors so yeah it's it's really um, it's really amazing how uh, change in the colors uh, you know this design is is really pretty and it's very Halloweeny and you know very macabre and really pretty but when you change the colors it gives you another feeling and both are you know equally pretty but when you personalize uh, your work uh, the results might be interesting <laughs> so yeah I, I really like to you know play with my colors and my fabrics and you know changing some stitches here and there so you can find a lovely surprise I'm really really like it how she looks and she doesn't look like a witch perhaps but something you know magic with all the colors I really really like it um, so yeah visit uh, Verbena if you want uh, charts that you can download instant ten uh, at the moment <laughs> you know the PDF files are great and uh, she have a lot of her, her name is Irina she have a lot a lot of lovely uh, patterns so yeah this is my my start of the of the weekend and my finish um, for for the uh, birthday celebration so <laughs> I'm really really happy and I was uh, thinking um, with with this design um, again um, I was reading some of um, Michelle and Gerald um, well actually it was Gerald um, Ginger Gerald post in her in his Instagram um, he shows his back of uh, Henry date and you know uh, Michelle Ben stitches was talking about the the back shaming <laughs> and mostly in my my Spanish uh, with my Spanish videos um, many of the ladies ask me about the the back of the stitching because um, it's really important on or, or it's really you know a big issue uh, with a lot of stitchers around the world and and mostly I, I have uh, you know perceived that um, mostly in, in Latin America and Spain when you have to have a perfect uh, back because if not you are not stitching right <laughs> and this is something that um, we were taught when we were little you know um, our grandmothers or our mothers or, or our aunts or uncles who the people who who stitch it and who uh, 
taught us how to stitch, they, they insist that the back of the stitch has to be perfect. Um, this has to be the same in the front and in the back. And many people, many of the stitchers who are, who are now um, getting back to cross stitch uh, quick in, in the beginning because they didn't do a perfect, uh, you know, back uh, of the stitch. So they feel, you know, frustrated. And many people, so I have a lot of comments that ask me, how do you do your, uh, your back of your cross stitch? Is perfect or is the same in the front and in the back? And I'm always answered that there is no rules in the, in the cross stitch. I mean, you can stitch whatever you want, how, uh, the way you want it. And it's, it's so sad that because you can achieve a perfect back, you stop stitching because that's not the, that's not the goal. <laughs> the goal is that this is a hobby and you're making something beautiful and something unique like in this case. And it doesn't matter if in the back of the fabric, they, it, it doesn't look uh, the same. And it's really sad when uh, I, I found, uh, you know, people and, and ladies and stitcher who had told me, you know, I, I quit stitching many years ago because I couldn't achieve a perfect back. And, and that, is, <laughs> that is so sad, but because you miss so much. Um, I always um, uh, told them and I like to, to you know, give my opinion about it that you can stitch the way you want to stitch um i only recommend that all your crosses must be stitched in the same direct direction but even that if you don't want it that's okay i mean that's only my advice the only thing that i could advise because other than that um you can stitch whatever you want it and I remember uh, Leticia show one of her, it was a design with um, a peacock when she had to turn the fabric so the crosses didn't, you know, uh, stitch in the same direction and they look amazing and it's amazing so they, there are not, no rules, you can stitch whatever you want and I have uh, here some some uh, stitches that I have, some works that I have done, and where my my back is is not perfect. <laughs> it's you know um, these two girls, which I love. Um, the back is the back is the back. <laughs> Nobody cares about the back. The back is part of, of, of the world, of the hours of love that we give and we let in our fabric, but it doesn't have anything to do with, with the, the way that cross stitch make you feel. And I wanted to, to share this. I, I will also um, talk about this in my Spanish videos, but it's harder there because <laughs> the idea is really, really strong. So here, for example, um, I love this one. And the back is also, you know, the back is the back. It's my, it's the back of my, of my stitch and it's not perfect, but it's perfect because it is the way it is. So when I, I see um, uh, Ginger Gerald um, post, and as some of the comments say, you know, your back is looking like a piece of art because all, all the the threads and you know, so it's 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 the back of of her, of his fabric, so it's wonderful. And you know, also as you can stitch the way you, the way you want to stitch, and sometimes I like to like in this case I like to work as. Uh, part of the process, you know, challenge, uh, like a challenge. Um, making a 
perfect back of the of the stitch but not because I have to do it but because it's um, a part of the process and, and a fun part of it um, like challenge uh, myself if I can remember how <laughs> and I can do it and and it's still not perfect um, according to you know the the way that this should be but I love this project and I love this project and I love the back of this project and I love the back of this project so it doesn't have to be an issue um, so I, I don't know I, perhaps I uh, thinking a lot about it but you know I, I get a lot of questions about this and about the backs of the of the stitch and it shouldn't be a question I mean are you enjoying the process yes then continue to do it um, many many times here in in my city perhaps I'm drinking a coffee and I'm you know carrying my my stitching with me and some ladies mostly you know older ladies um, come to me and they say oh what are you stitching oh so pretty let me see your back and they turn and, oh it's not perfect and they go <laughs> okay <laughs> first of all that's rude and second of all that's not the point but yeah it's something that we have really strong about it um, in our mind in the way we were taught but hopefully this won't stop uh, you from stitching uh, we are all different I love this kind of design uh, all of you love another kind of designs and you know we, we share our uh, difference and we enjoy our similitudes, uh, our, <laughs> our equal um, taste. So, yeah. Uh, well, that's all for, for today. Um, I hope I can, you know, uh, edit and, and make some sense <laughs> in this video. I will continue this week with my stitching um, celebration and I see the I will see you in my next video bye bye